form has started to pick up and hopefully it continues in today's episode. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification button, leave a comment down below. Okay, so as I mentioned, form has picked up a little bit. We're looking a little bit better. We played a friendly that we drew 1-1. In Chin, we beat them 4 0. Han Bin Jung and Park Jong getting a goals with Jung having a brace there. Uh, we went out and beat John Book, top of the table. Han Bin Jung getting goals in that one as well. United City, we played as rotated as we could with what we had available. We had a reserve team match that day, so I wasn't able to do full squad rotation like I wanted to, but you can see we started the. Yeah, you can, I was making sure you guys can see it. I don't think you can see all the way down, but you see that we started our backup goalkeep. Uh, Shim J Min started. Kim Su Hoon made it. Uh, Park Sung Won, he's one of the center back options. So play the rotated side. Jung Jin Woo gets goal. Kim gets goal. Park Sung Won gets a goal as well. And that's where we're at. We're going up against Kang Won today. One of the teams that we've had issues with. We, we kind of overcame that a little bit last year. But in the first season, Kang Won was a team that we really, really struggled with. So it's kind of developed a little bit of a derby between me and Kang Won. I think it's kind of a derby nail like it feels like a derby to me when we go up against king one so that's that's fun that's why we're coming back today against them i do actually want to see i've never looked we have no fierce rivals so king one has turned into the fierce rival i think king one and pohang steelers is going to be our two our two derbies i think that'll be oh i like it i mean it's not it's it's a bit tough when there's no rivalries listed i'm not i don't know anything about south korea i don't know anything about the geography of it but uh we i know that we've struggled with king one and pohang steelers so i think that that kind of lends itself to actually having a little bit of a rivalry there which is going to be fun so we'll going forward we'll play a lot of matches against i think i mean obviously we've already done it with king one i think we've done it a little bit with pohang steelers but uh yeah it's 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 something that i want to start doing a little bit more currently sitting fourth place right now we're one point off of very surprising team. Jeju sitting in third place. Absolutely shocked by that. We're six points clear right now in the group stage. Looking wonderful. Another bit of news that came through. This is this is wild that it just happened. Jung got his first cap. And uh who was it? Uh, John Book was interested in him. We got the email a minute a while back that said, you know, like uh it was during the transfer window when it was still open. Said that um they was interested in signing him for like 1.1 million. And I'm like, bruh, you're going to have to spend a lot more than that. I mean, I'm, I'm massively in the hole here. We're two, two million dollars in the hole. You're going to have to pay more than that. But it made me, made me kind of wonder. Okay. So obviously we're not going to get like $30 million for a player. Unless it's like we sign a free, like, like the Kevin Byrne thing. Like obviously it, it'll never be to that extent. Cause we're never going to sign a player as good as Kevin Byrne was in the journeyman. But uh, we'll have to sign a free foreign player of a nationality that has money to spend. Kind of like what we thought with Gutierrez. Gutierrez hasn't really turned into that. But uh, the South Korean players, we're never going to be able to really sell those guys for massive money, I don't see. So it makes me wonder, what would you actually be willing to sell Jung for? Because I don't know. Like it, To me, it definitely has to clear the bank balance. Like, and add some to it because that way we can reinvest it into the club. Because my idea behind it is, is like if we ever sell Jung and we bring in a good profit for him, we, 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 we clear the bank balance. We reinvest that into the club and either in the co the youth coaching, uh, the youth setup, the training facilities, that kind of stuff, make actual improvements to the club and what we have left over, then we can reinvest in terms of players. But, but I think that's what you have to do, but it's just one of those things of like, he's valued at 825 K. I'm not I'm not selling him for anything close to that. But I, I yeah, I don't I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. We got Son in goal, back four of Shim J Men, Sam, Han Ben and Gutierrez in the midfield, Kim, Park G Men, Kim Chanso, and Marin. Number ten is gonna be Kang up top Jung. Hang on. I do find it funny that the team that I was debating with starting to say with Kang one. I've told you that, guys, many times before. What I think is funny about it is uh, they're one of the teams that we've kind of developed a rivalry with. So it's kind of set up for it already, considering that I, I almost picked them to do this save with. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I like playing Kang 1. They're, they're fun. They're a fun team to play. 20 minutes down, nothing happening. Jung has been very shy this year. 
he likes to score when you guys ain't watching. So, yeah, this is an interesting match, guys. Uh, so, uh, how about that football? I like. Not a highlight here. I don't know what to say. I mean, yeah, like, okay. Okay, finally we get a highlight right out of the half. Han Ben thought Han Ben was going to get his head on it. Was it an own goal there? It looked like it was. The garlic man, he scores. It's 1-0 now. Wouldn't be able to say that guy's name. Struggle saying that like, him. There's no way I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing that. We take a 1-0 lead off of it, though. That's that's I mean that's something. It's it's better than nothing. We're having a short episode, it looks like again today. Thanks, guys. I would like a longer episode. 60 minutes now. We get another another highlight, same position as we was in the last one. Harley gets a touch on it again. He doesn't put it in the back of the net for us this time, unfortunately. Kang plays it out to Kang. Kim Chen so Kim Chen so again with it. Plays it out left hand side. He's got Han Ben. He's found him. Han Ben just Decided to wait for it. He finds Marion, gets third goal of the season for him. Han Ben on the assist. We take that 2 0 lead now. Goals have started picking back up after that little brief slip up we had in form. That's good. That's very good. Marion is on a card, so I do plan on taking him off, even though he just scored. Maybe take Kim off as well. The main Kim, because I want him. I want him to apologize. Drinking an energy drink always gets it, uh, but I don't want him to. Be too tired. It's one of those just like fitness things. Han Ben taking it slow. Finally picks it up. It says it's the end of the highlight. We take the league lead now. One point over John Book. One point over Paul Hang Steelers as well, I think. What it said. It's time. I've not made any changes. Talking up a storm. Marion, you're coming off. Bringing the Wilvert on. The guy that's on loan that I've almost canceled his loan a couple different times. Because I think we got enough players that can actually play over there now with the uh, with this guy M Tycoon may actually do that when the transfer window opens up and we start getting like some more free uh, free foreign players coming through. I would not mind doing that. But I I don't know. It's one of those things of like if we do that, our our salaries going to go way through the roof, and we can't really afford that at the time being. We said Kim's coming off. I'm Tycoon coming on for him, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a third change, and it's going to be Kim Kite for Jung. I mean, like, let's be real. Kim Kite looks like he's 35, going on 36, not 17. Already got seven under 20 caps for South Korea. That's wild. Absolutely wild. Someone just sits there looking at it. It's 2-1 now. Not over yet. Kang Wan not going to go away. They don't, they don't like to go away. They like to hang in there and make it tough on us. Yeah, I recorded an episode today of uh, KV Mecklen and recorded it right up before this. Not a great episode there. Not going to do any spoilers, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a great episode. Probably should not have recorded it until after these two episodes of uh, Daegu that I'm recording tonight. Yeah, it was it was not not a good episode. Not at all. I really want to talk about it, but I'm not going to. We've got a couple minutes left. Added time is about to be added on. Four minutes of it now. And getting away. Saying that. Not saying that. I didn't say it, game. Don't 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 jinx me on it. Because I promise I didn't. I thought it. But I didn't say it, okay? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Getting away with the victory. It was it was once again a close game against Kang Wan. Ooh, I don't. Okay, I told him I was unhappy. We may have won, but I was unhappy. Hey, being a little tough on the boy. Settle down, guy. I mean, goodness gracious. Park Jung looking good in training. You love to see it. You love to see those wonder kids looking good. We're going to address the squad. Come back with who did I say? Who are we coming back with? Wayne Ju. Well, squad rotation is a must at this point. Bring in an energy drink. I apologize. We've got someone in goal. we got a back four of Lee Hong Min, Park Sung Won, Han Bin, and Wilvert. In the midfield, we got Kim. Kim Chanso, Park G Min, and Marin. 
finally back from international duty, and he's ready to go is Kim Song Ho, and up top it is Young. They're going to get a good result here. Wang Ju is uh, sitting a little bit higher in the league than what previously expected. I think they're like fifth right now. So definitely not a team we need to sleep against. And with the way this season has gone for us, it's been very up and down. So they're very capable of getting the result here. Somehow we're sitting first in the league with the terrible start we had. I believe that is former Daegu man Ho Jin in, in center back form on the right hand side. I think we sold sold him there. I can't remember for sure. It's, it's been a hot minute. Like I said, they're a pretty good side. They're, they're not as good as us. They're one of the teams that's kind of like a, just a, a mid-table team. Maybe like lower mid-table. But the, you can't sleep on them. They've looked pretty good this season. I'm going to guess that guy right there is uh, not South Korean. Manning, I can I can do that name. Pretty well. that, one's, that one's easy for me. I'm going to guess that one has an English descent. Kim Sung-ho. Over to Kim. He's got Jung. Jung's got goal. Eighth of the season for him. I absolutely love Jung and, Jung and Kim. Those two guys, it wasn't for getting them to. This save would have sucked. <laughs> They're so good at players. I mean, did we actually purchase Jung or did he come up through our youth? I can't remember. I know I know Kim was here when we when we got here. But I can't remember for sure on Jung. Because I feel like we purchased Jung, Kang, and then the guy that's at loan for the military. Pretty close back to back in Jung edged Kang out a little bit. And then he's just hung on to the spot and never gave it up. Playing it around. Looks like we're going to get a second goal here. It's Kim Sung Ho. It's his third of the season. Park G Min on the assist. 2 nil now in the 30th minute. And we're we're looking good. Good. It's good to have the side back in order after that, that brief hiccup. Jung, when did we get him? I paid for him. I bought him from Blue Wings and he is just tear, tore this league apart. He's tore it apart the past three, past two seasons, including this one even. Starting out early in this one, he's looked good as well. He's definitely been the best purchase. Kim, I know, was here already when we got here. Didn't have, or what? Or was he my, He might have been my first ever purchase, Kim. I can't remember. I honestly can't. It's been so long. Seems like it's been 10 years down the road on this save already, and we're only in the third season. And I'm loving every minute of it. It has been loving every minute of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been nice. I definitely, definitely recommend South Korea. I, I, but I'll be honest, like, I like all the leagues I've played in. Like, there's not many of them that I'm just like, man, this sucks. I, I liked when we played in the MLS. I liked, well, I really liked playing in Brazil. I liked South Africa. South Africa might have been my least favorite of the ones we played in. I did like the, the teams that we was at, but I, it was all right. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Was not it was not the best of times. We done good there. Kim Sung Ho gets a win here. He loses out. Kim Chan So plays it over to Kim. Just a bunch of Kims back and back. Marin with it. He's looking good too. Fourth goal of the season for him. Jung's on the assist. We're taking a three 0 lead before half. Hey, 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 the side is back in order. The league struggles are no more. I do want to see. Before halftime, let's, I got to check it. Yeah, that's right. I, I did purchase him. Both of them coming from the Blue Wings. You know, the Blue Wings are sitting there now like, you know, could you imagine if we didn't sell Jung and Kim? We'd be a pretty good side right now. Can't believe we played 1.5 mil for, for Kim, though. <laughs> I went out and went, ooh, spending that cash right off the bat. That was, that's a, bi that's a big fee, like a really big fee for this league, if you don't know that. That makes me think like that email that we got from uh, John Book saying, "Hey, we're willing to pay one, or you know, they're willing to pay one point one million for Jung. Y'all can just go take a hike then. Ain't no way he's leaving for that. Jung takes a shot. He doesn't finish on it, but he's had a good match. We're gonna make some changes though, and we're not gonna wait till the 80th minute this time. Who wants to come out? Who wants to come on? That's the question." I really want to bring on that youngster that I haven't played much this year. Not you. You. Kim's coming on that left-hand side. Kim Kite up top. I'll probably bring on either Kim Soo 
Kuhn or I'm Tay Kuhn at some point. One of those two guys is going to be our final change. Just not sure which one. It just depends on what we're looking at at the 80-minute mark. It doesn't really help. We're, we're still, still sitting where we are in terms of... Okay, nope, we are. We've got a little bit more tired bodies out there. Lee Hong Min could come off for I'm Tay Kuhn. That's going to be the final change. Seal the victory. There we go. Keep hearing noises outside. I got my window open. Like, not open, but I got the blinds turned so I can see. I really need to quit drinking energy drinks while I'm recording. But uh, they really they really help me out on these, these bulk recording sessions that I have to do every so often. Kim Sung Ho, best overall performance of eight points in a row. Well done, guys. Good win for us. See what the media thinks. See what people's tweeting. He was proud of us. Worth every penny. If you were spending pennies today in South Korea, I don't know. I think something. Okay. I have I have no idea who you are, but for some reason, watching Kim Sung Ho is why you love your job. All right, Jang Young Sheik. Bud, we won 3 0. So, on, okay, Kim Sung Ho, you got to watch out. Son Jae Sung's coming after you. He's in love with you. Might have a stalker. I'm not sure. Four emails. Let's see what we got. Yeah, uh huh. Kim Sung Ho. I, I'm not really sure why, like, there was so much said about him. He had a good game, but it wasn't just, like, absolutely stellar. Don't know. We're going to come back. I think. I think I want to come back for Jeju and Port. And you're probably thinking, Jeju, they, they typically suck. They're sitting in fifth place right now. They're one point off of the top four. Should be fun. What has been nice getting back in the winning ways here at Daegu FC. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.